Right then, Monday night football under the lights, West Bromwich Albion at home. Look, we're winless in three games and to be honest, the past two games have not been anything to go by. Losses to Bristol City and Rotherham on the road. Regardless, something needs to change tonight, whether it's the formation, whether it's just the play style, etc. But something needs to change. The winter months are upon us and somehow I have ended up with the drumsticks. Imagine I just decided I'm not going to bring them. Just imagine. Tell you what, I've had a few dodgy looks with these in my hand. But the team's out, a few changes. And I think that's needed after a loss away at Rotherham. Kitchen's in the side. Wright is playing as a lone striker up top with Sakamoto, Allen in there. There was big rumours that Jake Bidwell, Jake Bidwell, Jake Bidwell would be playing. Unfortunately, he's not. Uh, he's on the bench alongside Carlo O'Hare as well. Who hopefully, he's going to get some minutes tonight. So, yeah, excited. Uh, changes what we needed. Changes completely what we needed. So let's hope that this works and uh, three points are on the way. So. Here we go, eight minutes from kickoff. Not as many West Brom fans as to be expected to be fair. On a Monday night, they always complain about the prices, but come on, you could have got a bus here for Christ's sake. Chicken ball and pie, some boy would call it. Give it a seven, not too bad of a crowd. From Monday night on Sky anyway. I'll tell you what, I can tell why you get one of these every Seven gone. West Brom already look like a good side. I mean, they put a little bit of pressure on our defence. We need to just deal with it. We need to try and control the game ourselves because right now, it's not looking great. I mean, it was offside anyway, but this is what I mean. Already not looking great. This one's short, but uh, the second goal ball went there. Oh, it's 1 0 to West Brom. They get a shot, Wilson parries it away. Their striker quickly pounces on it. Wilson goes to kick the ball away and he just puts the ball through Wilson's legs pretty much as his legs in the air. Human, human. They've been the better team this first 15 minutes, to be honest. There you go, I wonder if he plays this one short. Oh. <laughs> well, I wanted to watch the game, but uh, Roddy's been checking for tickets. Just kicking a load of people out. No one else is sat here. He's ripped things, apparently. As you can see, I wanted to watch the game. Uh, after uh, failing to kick out a load of 15 year olds, the response scored and I'll leave him. Oh, they think it was a sellout. They think it was a sellout. Some boys. We're we'll where we want. Anyway, now the stewards have left the children alone. Uh, half an hour gone. Other than the West Brom goal, I think we've probably been a little bit more in control since then. Not really had any clear cut chances, but other than that, you know. I think it's the sort of game we need to grow into, especially in the second half. Had you up playing on his own up top, something we're probably going to have to adjust to if it's going to be called permanent thing. Keep his hands. Half time. 
go to City 1 West Brom 0. Probably not worth the booze to be fair. The sort of game we're going to have to go into, like I've said. I wouldn't say either two have been impressive. They started well the first 10 minutes. Got the goal on the quarter of an hour from Ben Wilson mistake. And other than that, I wouldn't really say much has happened. Other than the fact we got harassed by a load of stewards. Uh, tried to kick Sanjay out, but he won't have none of it. Anyway, second half is underway. They played the Triple H theme song, which is absolutely horrendous. I don't know why they play it every week. As you can probably tell, Paddy Roy, best chance of the game. Goes through on goal, one on one with the keeper. First two changes, Callum O'Hare and Lata Bordier coming on. Or Milan Van Uyck and Bobby Thomas. Just to show, that was where he was when the second goal was played through. Brandon Thomas Asante with the goal, look, that's what happens. Don't take your chances for Hadji Roy. Poor, poor defending, he's through on side. So frustrating, so frustrating. This is what happens when you're playing well in games, you're not getting the results. And then a game like today where, you know, we've not so much turned up, things haven't gone our way. Come on, Jay. Every team of us that's out here. By the time we get the ball, there's about eight men stopping us from even getting into the box. And then that happens every time. Everything's gone straight to his hands. How are we making it so easy for them? They're just running for one goal, putting the ball past three of our players and having a shot off goal. I think there's a formation change. Hadji Wright coming off, Matty Godden and Ali Sims coming on, Jamie Allen coming off as well. Oh. <laughs> Ref has bottled everything tonight, absolutely everything. Doesn't give that either, no. Doesn't give that either. I mean, at least one of them's a foul, but... I mean, they got their second goal's offside. I don't, I don't want to sit and moan about it. Everyone who's watching it at home, my message, saying it's offside. At this point, it's just frustrating. We're so, so poor. We're going to hear it from Robbins again. Oh, we're a couple of weeks behind. You know, it's a process. We're not a finished team. We're just not good enough. We spent all this money on these signings and it just doesn't work. What's that? Oh. Well, gladly we've only got two minutes left. We've got a corner. It's not Josh Eccles taking this one. He's found the head of a Coventry player. Poor luck of the game. Here we are. Ninety second minute. Fair play to everyone that's still here. I I'm only here for the video, to be honest. Like... That's it. <laughs> well... Yeah, again, that was awful. Just gonna try and fix my night with a cheeky McDonald's, uh, if only. I've had an absolute mare. As I put the rubbish in the bin, I've dropped my phone in the bin. I was getting some bad looks from the people in McDonald's, I tell you, but even then, I probably still got, you know, better handling than Ben Wilson tonight. Next three games are Preston away. We never win there. Then we've got a home game against Stoke, who were in great form. They've won three on the bounce. Oh, and then we've got Millwall away after the international break. Never going to hear the end about that one either because we're probably going to lose that. Anyway, I'll keep being positive and uh, we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Not looking good, man. Robbins needs to sort out or someone because I really don't know. But 
I'm tired. Anyway, thanks for watching the video if you did enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Goodbye.